While designing the new single-family house in the suburban cul-de-sac, the question comes up about where the electric panel box, technically called the load center, uh, where that should go. You respond, well, the A, the basement, B, back closet, C, within a few feet of the meter, D, near the front door so the firefighters can find it quickly. Uh, so, first of all, A, can't be it because not every building is going to have a basement, uh, and that's just not going to be a reasonable answer. Uh, back closet, um, you'll find that panels often are put into closets, but they can only be put into certain kinds of closets. Uh, and in fact, it's really dangerous for them to be put into smaller closets. So it would be very unlikely that uh, something, a generic closet answer would be what somebody would ask for in this context. Uh, in fact, there's always, always has to be, depends on the municipality, so you'll see slightly different numbers, but typically three feet from the panel uh, sort of open space uh, next to that. So putting it inside a closet is often very difficult there's so much stuff in the closet. Uh, and in some places you're not allowed to put it in a closet at all anyway um, because there's uh, fire hazards and cardboard boxes and you know things like that. And you, uh, you don't want to get excessive heat build up and you don't want to uh, sort of have any opportunity uh, for something to sort of catch fire. But that space issue is really the big deal because if somebody's working on it, if they do get a shock, you want them to be able to be blown away from uh, the uh, panel so they're not uh, held scrunched up next to something that's giving them a, a very bad shock. So closets are definitely out uh, in terms of a generic answer like this. So now the big question is between uh, C and D, uh, within a few feet of the meter, or D, near the front door so the firefighters could find it quickly. Well, D sure sounds like a good answer uh, because you want the firefighters to find it quickly, but it's actually the wrong answer, and the reason for that is that the meter is typically uh, towards the back of the structure, towards the back of the house, uh, and you are using, in a single-family residence, almost always, the meter is the place where the power gets shut off. And so the firefighters want to look at the house, see where the meter is, and then know that they can get to that point, and within just a few feet from that meter, Typically it's five feet, some places it's 10 feet, I think some go up to 12, um, uh, that within just a few feet of that meter is where that panel is going to be so that they know that they can turn off the power uh, in the house. You would not want to be a firefighter running through a house with so much power uh, that it's uh, gonna cause uh, trouble. Uh, so, well then why not D? Well the answer to why not D is if you uh, have it right by the front door, the firefighters run in, turn it off, that means it's still live between that disconnect all the way back to where that panel is, which means there's actually still quite a lot of power uh, uh, live in the house. And the whole point is you're trying to make it safe for those firefighters. So the answer is going to be C, which uh, let me tell you is one of those things that uh, over the years you have all sorts of trouble locating those damn panels because uh, it never is quite as easy as you think. Uh, depending on where the meter is going to go and to find a good spot. Um, this is sort of an unusual question uh, because it's about a single family house. You will see a few of them about single family houses, but by far the vast majority of questions you'll get will be small institutions, libraries, uh, schools, things like that.